Welcome to Crackers and Milk. This is your host, David. Once again, I'm joined by Ryan, Jake. Howdy. Hey, howdy, hey. Today, we are going, we are talking about Lone Ranger, the 2013 movie, Those Stars, and Jake has our synopsis. In 1933, a boy discovers an ancient Native American in a sideshow carnival tent. The Indian is Tonto, played by Johnny Depp. The old companion of John Reed, Army Hammer, a lawman more famously known as the Lone Ranger. With this opportunity to set the record straight about his and Reed's adventures, Tonto recalls the day in 1869 when he first encountered the man who would be his trusted friend and tells of their teamwork bringing down Butch Cavendish and Latham Cole and other Old West outlaws. Okay, so this one came out Ju- July 3rd, but when I was looking at it, it had June 22nd. Is that a soft opening when it came out? Like, did it, like, show a little bit? But I I didn't understand that no, part. it's saying its release date was June 22nd, 2013. June 22nd? Yeah, see, that, like, and then I saw July 3rd. Didn't, and I, I just kind of wondered about that. I didn't know for sure. And then... So the top ten that year was Frozen, Iron Man 3, Despicable Me 2, Hobbit 2, Hunger Games 2, Fast and Furious 6, Monsters University, Gravity, Man of Steel, and Thor 2. But the competition for this one... Really? Thor 2 beat it? Yeah, dude. Thor 2 sucked, but yeah. Um, So Lone Ranger came out, like I put it in July 3rd, but... If it's June twenty second, um, what came out the week or the time around it was Monsters University, World War Z, uh, White House Down, the one with Gerard Butler, and then Fruitville Station came out in no, July. The White House Down was Channing Tatum. Oh, it was Channing Olympus Tatum. has fallen. Is oh yeah, that was Gerard Butler. Okay, uh, so Fruitville Station came out in July. Um, Grown Ups 2, Pacific Rim came out, Pokemon, Turbo, Red 2 came out that time, uh, World the, the World's End, uh, that's a British one, I, I saw that, and then The Wolverine, then Smurfs 2, and then in August, um, Percy Jackson came out on the 7th, we are, We're the Millers, Elysium, Planes, um, Kick Butt 2, Jobs <laughs> and the butler. PG rated. PG rated, man. Sorry. Jobs, I think PG Jobs was title. the Ashton Kutcher one. Jobs oh, yeah, was Steve that Jobs. Yeah. yeah. And then you had um, Michael Fassbender do yeah, it. That one did, that, he did a great job on that one. I'm sorry, but yeah, did that one. So that, that, that was the competition. That was the competition. And then you had the stars, like Jake said Johnny Depp, Army Hammer. Uh, William Fleischer, he was the bad guy. Tom Wilkinson, um, the one, the first movie I remember seeing him in is Batman Begins. Um, Ruth Wilson, Helen Bohm Carter, and then um, the guy who directed it was Gore Verbinski. Gore. He did Rango. And Pirates 1 through 3, The Ring, Mouse Hunt, Secret Life of Walter Mitty, and Cure of Wellness. Those were his movies that and, he did. And of the ones I've seen of that list, yeah. I've enjoyed. So, uh, No, I feel this movie was uh, set up for success. I really do. <laughs> I mean, the advertising was huge. Mm-hmm. The director made some great movies before it. Yeah, Didn't really have a ton of competition. Frozen mm-hmm. might have trumped it a little bit. But but that didn't I, come out. That didn't come out around the same time as this one. Disney at all. Disney was pushing it, so you had the House of mm-hmm. Mouse behind it. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I mean, you were kind of reaching out to the the golden age. Yeah, yeah. you know uh, the, the the baby boomers, the, the baby boomers, the older people. Yeah, um, who grew up on the Lone Ranger. Yeah, so it it was set up for success. <laughs> It, <laughs> I'm sorry, you, you're like the look is like oh, their, I can't wait to talk. Their to budget was 215 million. That's oh, kind yeah. of high. Yeah, it's yeah, kind of high. a lot. That is a lot for a movie. Well, they they actually 
did do a train off a bridge, an actual train. Oh, that's actual expensive. train? Yes. Holy cow. That could be expensive. That would be way expensive. It's got potential <laughs> to be expensive. How did you guys like the be- the starting of the movie? I like the starting of the movie where it did open the um, op- how it opened it up with with the the kid yeah. eating his peanuts and oh. Tonto's eyes move. The <laughs> only thing that I didn't like about the peanut thing is like, why wouldn't you crack those peanuts out? At the time, that's how they ate them. Oh, that's nasty, yummy, gross. I've tried that before; it didn't work out for me. <laughs> Man, I've had those type of peanuts, and uh, you always have to crack them. Yeah, really? Yeah, I don't know about that. I, I, I agree with Jake. It was a, a thing at the time. That's nasty, weirdos. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that just it just does not seem advertising at all. Y'all, pe- the, all you people from the western time, that was nasty. And then the whole the bird thing, like the whole movie <laughs> yeah. he did it. It was uh, interesting. Yeah. But, but by the end of the movie, the bird came back alive. So. He did. Sure he did. did. He did. He did. It, the beginning movie was fine. Okay. And usually in a movie, you're like, oh, hey, this is a good start. Well, it's going to go uphill from there. <laughs> <laughs> and I know, I know, I know Jake's going to disagree with me. <laughs> I will say this, though, with music, I'm, I'm going to put in my two cents with music. Um, there was a lot of pirates feel at times. Pirates of the Car- Caribbean feel. It's the same. It's like, oh. yeah. Same. It was Hans Zimmer. He did both. Yeah. I get it, and I understand that they follow, but it's like, oh, there's a little bit too much well, of it. Well, tell me. Uh, the music for Star Wars and Superman, do they sound the same? Yeah. I, mean, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised because they're the same people. John Williams, yeah. yeah. John Williams know, has done like, a lot, and so does Hans Zimmer. Does Seems like those two guys have done most of the Hollywood films. Wait, Hans Zimmer did this one and then Pirates? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, like, he, he did, also did Batman. Yeah, he did the, the Batman the, series. Batman Begins. The and Batman. And to me, like, it, like <laughs> that's totally different from these ones, but it, it seemed... At times, it seemed like same, same feel. Like it was tough. Like same studio. <laughs> I get it, yeah. but like that, the bar scene with the women in it, yeah. like it was like, boom! They put that music in. It's like, okay, pirates. What's up, man? Like, okay, <laughs> this is good. But it, it, it's you pirates. see, to me, I, I could hear it, but it yeah. didn't bother me that way. Okay. Because, if the only connecting thing was Johnny Depp, for you, for for me. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I get that. Um, then the bad guys. What do you guys think of the, the bad guys? I think William Fitchner and uh, Tom uh, Wilkinson and Barry Pepper did a good job. Who's Barry Pepper? Oh, he was the, the, the general. The, mm-hmm. the, the, the colonel. Army guy. The yeah. colonel. Yeah. Who, if you're in a, a period piece about that time and you're a Calvary man, you're going to have red hair, you're going to have a goatee. And yeah. <laughs> and chew tobacco. <laughs> <laughs> and talk I, I about like God and his angels. <laughs> <laughs> what about the heroine, the girl? The, Ruth Wilson? Yeah. Yeah, she did She did a good job. I thought she did a good job. I, I, it was very believable. I liked the, her son, too. Yeah. Very. And Helena Bonham Carter as the, the madame. <laughs> uh, the ivory leg. I yeah. think she's great. I think she's a great mm-hmm. actress. I, I, like, I, she... She had fun with that role, you could tell. She did, and then, like, the whole, like, the guys <laughs> wanting to touch the ivory leg. <laughs> it's like, oh, that's yeah. a little weird. <laughs> well, okay, the, yeah, I liked it. Well, ivory was an expensive material. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. it's expensive now, but. Yeah. So. And it was rare back then. A lot, but, a lot of rareness. Like, when the, she, she helps the Lone Ranger and Tonto because <laughs> Butch Cavendish took her leg and she used to be a ballerina. Just the way she says it. It was just so funny. <laughs> Ryan, <laughs> thoughts? <laughs> no, I think she's a great part of the movie. Um, I feel that the casting could have been a lot better. I well, I do agree. Especially the main actor. See, to me, I think Tonto... 
should have been replaced and played by somebody else. I kind of agree with you there as well. Do you think I, he would? Do you think it would have been better by an American Indian? Yes, an Indian, mm-hmm. like a real Indian, not Johnny Depp. Not the. I mean, I don't think that necessarily matters, but yeah, it would have helped. I mean, I, that. <sighs> so that. He, there's an actor in the movie that yeah. would have been perfect for Tonto. Mm-hmm. He's the one who slaps the drink out of uh, <laughs> out of yeah. his, out of his hands. Yeah, yeah. He, he's a big muscly guy. Mm-hmm. I uh, sorry, I don't know his name. Yeah, but he would have been perfect for Tonto. I've seen him in multiple roles. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I just you know Johnny Depp does a fine job at mm-hmm. whatever he does, but this this particular role was maybe a little too much. And could have been a little different, yeah, a little. I don't know, too, too Johnny Depp. Yeah, or two pirates, since that's taken over almost. Well, most I, of I'm, his stuff. I'm pretty sure that's part of the reason he was cast for it, is because he's super hot at the time. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and um, you know, Jack Sparrow is a iconic figure. Yeah, mm-hmm. it is. I mean, they reworked a classic Disney ride all around Jack Sparrow. Yeah. Right, and so. The problem that I see with this is that they cast him as Tonto. He's got to perform. He's got to outperform yeah. the role, yeah. which the role really shouldn't be that big of a role. Yeah. Tonto's more of a... The main actor, Army Hammer, should have been carrying that role a lot more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The movie was about Tonto, really. Yeah. It, I can see that, but I, I feel Army Hammer did did a good job with what he what the script was and why do you say that who who else would you guys want to want to play him in 2013 who's got the square jaw of the lone ranger who's man i don't care who but choose somebody else he's got the physical characteristics of the lone ranger when i picture the lone ranger i see a guy like army hammer yeah, yeah, the looks is fine, but the the acting chops was horrible. What is your problem with him? I I can't. What I can't get down. I don't what? think he's a good actor. I don't think it's. What do you think his best role was? I think it was Social Network. Maybe Social Network because he was a because he was a turd in it. He was a twin too. Yeah, but yeah, I think that was his best role. I think he's naturally a turd. So <laughs> wow, this wow, like, wow! I is guess that's a, a little personal, but I just don't. I don't like the. You see, his acting to me was fine. Yeah, it, I mean, uh, the, I think Barry Pepper was so chewing the scenery anytime he was in there. So <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I think the best actor in there was William Fin, uh, William yeah, Fitchner. Fitchner. Yeah, and, and he's fine. I just. There's some things I don't like him in, but as a but as a bad guy, as a bad guy, he's great. Like yeah. You didn't like him in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles: The Shredder. Um, not really. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I didn't like him in that nah. one too because that was a little unbelievable. But I liked him as a villain, and I like Tom. I like Tom mm-hmm. Wilkinson as a villain. Like he was a yeah. good behind the scenes type of villain. Yeah, exactly. Um, and I thought that was really good about that movie. Oh, um, those two actors, like those are really good, and you could believe. Fitchner as a cannibal. Mm-hmm. You could yeah. believe that. Yeah. Like that was really believe. It's like, oh yeah, I could see that. Yeah, but I. I that. But to get back to Army Hammer, which is a horrible name. I don't. Is that his real name? I I'm guessing that is not. His I real I name. hope it's not. If it is, <laughs> may God have mercy on his parents. Even, even, I mean, even as a made up actor's name, that yeah. that's pretty rough. <laughs> I mean, it's Armin not, Armin Hammer. It's no it's, Nicolas Cage. It's, yeah, you're, you're true. You're you're uh, you're telling the truth there. Uh, I don't I don't think he has multi multiple levels of acting. You don't think I, so? I don't think so. I don't think, uh, and I think when he does try and venture out of that, it, oh, it doesn't it work, doesn't work. It, for me. It just That's doesn't. Why work. I thought he was perfect for this role is everything that he can do, he was able to do in this movie. It just didn't do it for me. I fully disagree. I I, right. I don't think I can. I can't. I social network. I can't watch that the, again. The only reason, like, like I don't mind watching it, but I think I don't like Eduardo. Like every time mm-hmm. I see Andrew Gar- yep. Garfield, I'm like, you're Eduardo, and I don't like you. <laughs> I just don't like. I you. haven't seen the social network, so I can't comment <laughs> on this. It's a it's a good it's movie, a good movie. It, to look into how Facebook was. Yeah. 
And then you realize Hollywoodized. Like, I mean, yeah, a Hollywoodized version of the story. Then you can realize, but, like, from his depiction, Jesse Eisenberg's Eisenberg. depiction. Yeah, his mm-hmm. depiction of <laughs> Zuckerberg. It's like, yeah, you're a jerk too. Like, yeah. you totally took advantage of these people. But I feel like everybody in the movie was portrayed as a, a turd. <laughs> yes, all of them were. <laughs> all Harvard turds. <laughs> yep. So I don't know. Our Army Hammer kind of he he wasn't the main factor that. Ruined the movie for me. What ruined the movie? The I mean, Johnny that Depp was too much. Too much, yeah. And some of the the weird scenes with Tonto. Like, what do you mean weird uh, scenes with Tonto? Ah, just him going off on spiritual yeah. things. So, so you remember the superhero one where Spider-Man 2, I would forgive all of its sins for the, the train fight? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I forgive all of Lone Ranger's sins for that finale. Of the train with the, the trains. trains, that's pretty good. Yeah, uh, the trains. Quentin good. Tarantino said that that was like the perfect ending to that movie. Yeah. I agreed with t- t- Quentin Tarantino for like the first time in my life. Yeah. <laughs> that was worth the price of admission. Just yeah. that scene alone to me. I could see that. The only problem I have with the scene is the jumping part. Like I, I believe it, but like you're jumping on rocks, and <laughs> dude, that would hurt a lot more than what Johnny Depp. What happened? But that's the only thing that I can nitpick about it. But I like it. Like I, I like the movie. So, uh, but yeah. except the only thing you that know, I did riding the horse, uh, riding silver on top of the the, the oh. train, <laughs> shooting, <laughs> having the gunfight in between the two trains between yeah, the that was good the the, the, the colonel and and him when mm-hmm. he's on the top of the train and the colonel's shooting <laughs> two guns <laughs> <laughs> and just the train and the Tonto uh, the Going up on the ladder and yeah, getting would, onto the right train and then yeah, yeah mm-hmm. falling falling onto that would probably hurt a lot more than it, it would. Then what? But, but it's a movie and you have yeah. to be okay with it and like everything else <laughs> and, was, I and was, you, was I was okay with. And it, the Lone Ranger never missed a shot in the radio program. So <laughs> it's true. Yeah, and I I like that part of it at the mm-hmm. end when he shoots Cole's gun out of his hand because yeah. he finally believes. What yeah. Tonto has been selling him the whole time is, I am the spirit walker. Yeah. Shoots the gun out of Cole's hand. Did you like the brother? I liked the brother. I thought the brother was believable at the beginning. I I, I really liked how he just exemplified toughness. Yeah. So. <laughs> I liked uh, it. Yeah, why not? Uh, a little like we- weird backstory between him, he and his brother loving the same woman. And, yeah, you know. that was a little weird. And then they were uh, riding until like, yeah. Uh, that was a little weird. And then the uh, the shooting where it was shot. Utah. Yeah. Yeah. Like Monument Valley. Mm-hmm. And it was like, okay, I understand that that's a great place to shoot. But it's like, this well, is Lone Ranger. This is Texas. So the, the, <laughs> the, the, Utah. The, the, problem, like in, I, in the Utah. problem I have with it is yeah. they're saying Promontory Point was in oh. Texas. Yeah, <laughs> like hello, dummies. Anybody who knows our history, or anybody who lives in Utah, who went through <laughs> Utah history in fourth grade, knows that Promontory Point is up by Ogden. Honestly, that's a big part of railroad history. Yeah, is mm-hmm. Promontory Point. It's the Golden Spike. It, and if, all that I mean, stuff. I get it. Some people don't even know where Utah is. Yeah, we we've got a buddy who I've got a buddy who travels to Boston. Yeah. And he tells him that he's from Utah, and he's like, "Oh, is that in California?" <laughs> no, it's a it's an actual one of the fifty states that you should have learned in elementary school, yeah, sir. Yeah. No, Utah yeah. is a state. Well, and it's like, like city. The <laughs> thing with like when he talks about how the whole continent was came together on rail, yeah. it's yeah. like why would it make sense to have the whole continent come on rail and meet in Texas? That's the only That's one. where the population was. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, Jake. <laughs> yeah, this this movie, I don't know. Just a fun fact, Tonto in Spanish and in Italian and in Portuguese <laughs> means fool. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> Silly. Yeah. 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 So do you think they were you like when they wrote this or like when they wrote this at the beginning it was kind of like he a Shakespearean the, thing where they have the fool who he was the comedy character yeah. in the radio show. Yeah. yeah. Right. So that's also what bothered me about the movie is that they got Johnny Depp, who is a bigger star than 
anybody else in the movie. Yeah. yeah. They needed to be to go low, the bro. secondary right. character. And, and you're right, it is Tonto's right. story. That's that's the that was what my problem was with the movie is that you've got a movie about Tonto, but it's it's, it's the little... the Lone Ranger. Yeah. I I like that. It's a their first story together. So, yeah. like, I understand how you feel it's Tonto's story, and it is Tonto's mm-hmm. story, but it's them finally working together. And I, I, honestly, I couldn't pinpoint who, but I think that they could have gotten a better Lone Ranger. Yeah, you'd have to research that one. Yeah, right now on. I'd have to find some. I can, I can try and find somebody eventually. The only but. one that I could think of is. Um, Superman, but at the same time, I don't yeah. think that would have been that that would have worked at the time because of I don't I other things came Maybe out. It probably it yeah. probably wouldn't have worked because this only came out a couple of years ago, right? Like 2016. But, yeah, but I think also no, that, it was a uh, 2013. Yeah. 13. Oh, I, I think that they were also trying to get Army Hammer. <laughs> that like name. to build him up. Yeah, I think it, they were trying to the it, next action star, something like that. Yeah, because he was in uh, the Man from Uncle. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah. I want to say his first role was in uh, Mirror, Mirror with Julia I Roberts. I think you might be right. I, I remember okay, seeing that the, one. Okay, the real retelling of uh, Snow, Snow White. White. I and, couldn't, uh, yeah. Lily Collins is mm. with eyebrows. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. I, I couldn't remember. I, I couldn't tell you if that's his first movie or not. I'm sure there's some independent it, it movie. Might, it, might, it, might, it might be The Social Network. I don't, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, but... Um, you I know, think that's where he got big as social network because he mm-hmm. did. A re- but personally, I think he did a really good job as the twins, and yet it was believable. And that he was a jerk. Well, I did feel that that's he. I did feel that he had an actual real life twin. Yeah, you know, I just because so of how too. well that it was portrayed in the movie. But yeah, yeah. I don't know. It just it, it didn't work for me. Oh. I I like how they wrapped it up. How they. The bad guys died because they all knew who he really was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I liked how uh, Cavendish called him, well, counselor for the rest of the movie. He kept calling him counselor when he <laughs> f- figured out who he was. <laughs> um, the. Oh. Do you think that kind of might be where Daredevil came from? Maybe. 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 Sort of, kind of, because yeah. Daredevil is a kind of a lone ranger. Yeah. It's, it's, Daredevil, like Ben Affleck I, Daredevil, that's one No, just the about? character. Just the character. Where he's a lawyer by day, a, uh, a secret... Vigilante at night. <laughs> a masked man. <laughs> yeah, yeah okay, masked man. So the first time I watched it, then they played the lone ranger theme song. Yeah. I was like, why are they doing that? Like at first, when I first, and then after watching it a couple times, I was like, okay, yeah, I can get behind this. I can totally get behind this. I like how, you know, when after and the band's there again, and they're wearing (laughs) casts, and one guy's got a neck brace, another one, the the guy doing the cymbals, his arms broken in a cast. (laughs) That's a pretty funny scene. Yeah. Yeah, Just to, one thing that I thought about. Uh, doing, when I was doing research on the movie, is is how cool would it have been to listen to this on the radio? I know, as a young kid back when yeah. you didn't have TV. Yeah, and it's your imagination. Oh it's yeah. Your imagination. Oh my gosh, that would have been else. so cool. That would have been. I mean, that what are those detective series that they had on the radio too? Just all that kind of stuff. Dick back Tracy. Then. Yeah, Dick Tracy. That's right. Yeah, that would have been just so have you ever cool. Listen to those. No, and I, I I'm probably am going to do that after Dude, this. It comes up like growing up. So one. I, I don't I'm I'm petrified of rats. I I don't yeah. like mice. I or rodents, period. But one time me and my brothers we were uh two of us, three of us, they were on the um our beds and I was in the middle and w- our ritual at night was to listen to old time radio because they would have it on at a certain time and then there was a killer rat one. Real killer rat sh- ship kept waking up Scanning the floor because I was sleeping on the floor and I was like, "Oh crap!" Willard, so every time, huh? Did you see Willard? No, no, <laughs> never. Mm-mm, nope, won't ever see that one either. But like, like those were so those were so fun. Like to it, do was, it. it was, it um, was to do old time radio. Yeah, was like 
it was just one of those things, and it can, it comes on at night. But you could also do it like I'm, sh- I'm podcasts sure you can and find all that it. stuff. Yeah. I'm sure you can find it. So you could rent. You could also you could go to the library and rent um, or check out. Stuff, but probably the problem with that is, is I'm not a little kid anymore. Yeah. I mean, you can still use your imagination, your imagination and stuff, but yeah. as a little kid, mm-hmm. you know, things are way different. Yeah. yeah. As an adult, it's entertainment. Yeah, it was so, like I did it when I was a teenager. Yeah, when we were teenagers. So that might be why I like the movie so much is because of my dad telling me about listening to the Lone Ranger and yeah, how I much he liked it. Yeah, I get it. Mm-hmm. So I wish I could have watched this movie with my dad. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay, so the cross dresser one. The crossdresser guy. Yeah. That the, I know it was for comedy. It was just like, okay, that's a little interesting. But yeah, like, yeah. It, it, it ain't was. what you think. I just like this pretty thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I, I can't remember what my expectations were going into this movie, but they weren't met. <laughs> they weren't. My, they expert, weren't. my expectations were met. They, it didn't yeah. exceed my expectations, but. I have to ask you one question, too, about when someone says the line in the movie. Like the okay. main line, like, you know, like in Master and Commander, they said, oh, the far side of the world. Or like someone always says the line of the movie. Yeah. What do you guys think of that? Like when they say it, when someone says, oh, the Lone Ranger, you're just like, okay, that's the line of the movie. That's the whole you, subtitle. You, you want me to be Peter Griffin? Go, there it is. <laughs> there it <laughs> is. Do, is that that's what you guys funny. think when you no. hear it? No, what do you guys think? Think when you hear the line of the movie. Hi ho, silver away! <laughs> Don't ever do that again. <laughs> I just had to ask that one. No, it I, it, I it doesn't know. bother me. Like, no, I'm not bothered by it. Like, I'm no, just like, no, oh, it, there's the line of the movie in my head I when it happens. Barely even notice it. Oh. For the most, it, it has to be pretty blatant. Blatant yeah. to be to be to have it bother you. So. It takes a lot to take me out of a movie. Yeah. So if it if a movie's trying, like Ocean's Twelve is a perfect example. Huh. It took me out of the movie. Yeah. And so it didn't matter what the rest of the movie was. So I don't mm. look for okay. stuff like that. <laughs> I, I was just wondering, like it, it hits me once in a while. Like it hits me, and I'm like, oh, there's the yeah. movie. Okay, cool. <laughs> no, like, yeah. I, it's just like they say, and it, like I move move <laughs> so, on. From it. Twas beauty that killed the beast. <laughs> chicken little, man, chicken little. Just kidding. So that's, that's <laughs> what I think surprisingly, of. this movie did, you know, did make money. The Lone Ranger did make money. I'm not surprised by that. Like it was okay. Well, ten million. <laughs> it only made ten million. Yeah. Oh crap! It, that's so crap. After the DVD release, I, I'm guessing after the DVD. <laughs> In theaters, it only made eighty nine. So according to what I'm looking at, it only eighty nine million two hundred and sixty point five million. Wow. Yeah, that would have been after. Yeah. Uh, and and probably the foreign market. Mm-hmm. See, like I I couldn't. It just, I rented this, and it's like I can't buy it. I didn't mind watching it. I liked watching it. So like I eventually got to it where it's like, oh, this is really cool. Th- this is a movie I want to buy. This is a yeah. soundtrack I want to buy. Yeah, I could see that. I enjoyed it. No. <laughs> yes, I would like a sequel. Hard pass. <laughs> I, I'm I'm totally in the middle on this one because like the um part part of it is like it's really kind of low kind of to me, it kind of speaks to me. It's like Armageddon, where Armageddon is like a good movie, but like it's really stupid at the same time. <laughs> and so it's like it has the emotional carry that I can get behind. So I'm okay yeah. with it, but I don't. I don't think they will ever do another one. I don't think they'll ever do another one. Would I like to see another one? Yes. yes. Yeah. You see, I think the difference between me and you and Ryan is I have the ability to turn my brain off when I watch a movie <laughs> and just sit there and watch it. Because it it takes a lot for me to not like a movie. Yeah. And there's there's I mean, I like um there's a lot of movies that I'm sure that you guys would be like, that's dumb that I like. Yeah. You know, but, but I think that's with everybody, but, though. Yeah, the, like, yeah, yeah, of course. I, I, there's but movies like, that I watch that people think are dumb. Even if they put different actors in the movie, yeah. I'm not going to see this the se- the sequel. No, don't worry. There's not going to be one. Yeah. yeah, there never will be one. Like with that, what where you think some movies are dumb? Like Nate, my little brother, 
he can't watch Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I've, I've kind of forced him at, when he was younger to watch it, and he's <laughs> like, "Dude, this is so stupid. Why am I watching this?" And so it's like I get it, or like some people just don't like some of the movies I watch and that sort of stuff. And yeah, yeah. I get that. I I'm excited for the when my son's a little bit older to watch the Lone Ranger with him, yeah. just so I can pass on what my dad passed on to me. Okay. So you would, I get that. You would say more. It's like more nostalgia with this one. No, dude, that good. train scene. On oh, the train the, scene. The train okay. scene. All right. I love that train and scene. And that train scene gave you. Uh, it gave that pass to um, be okay I, with the other I, sins of the movie, like you said. The 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 greatest sin is Johnny Depp. Yeah. Okay. And you're and, okay with that. Yeah. Ryan would say Army Hammer, but you know. <laughs> well, we're not the same person. We're not the same person. No, that's Sorry. what makes us so great. Yeah, that's wonderful. We've agreed on a lot of things, but this, yeah, one, this is one of the agree. first Man, ones where, just, <laughs> where it's almost like you just it's like uh, polar opposites. This is the time. This is the only time listen, you guys have been polar opposites on a movie. Now listen, <laughs> if my son, my youngest boy, said, "Hey, Dad, I'm going to have a party and we're going to watch Lone Ranger," I'd be like, "No, I'm not coming to your party, son." <laughs> Love you. <laughs> well, you wouldn't. I might show up to that party. I have I have a great person that will come and play your dad. <laughs> and he will dress as a Lone Ranger for you. <laughs> Jake's all, hey, I'm Ryan. How are you today? <laughs> I'll be playing the part of Ryan Allen today. <laughs> oh. Holy moly. I just, I, I, no. I no, won't, no, I won't seek this movie out ever again. I'm, I'm sorry, no, Jake. No, but no, it's... It, don't worry. I, I was born with the ability to not care what people think about me or my decisions. So it, it absolutely does, does not matter oh, if you do not like this movie. We can still be friends. We will still be friends <laughs> until the end of time. Oh, uh, yes. Yes, a sequel. Yes, please. Disney, come on. Oh. Spend another $215 million. Just don't fat care. Sorry. No, just make hire a, some, somebody else besides Johnny Depp. Make a ride. <laughs> Make a ride out of Lone Ranger. <laughs> yes, that would that it, in Frontierland. Yeah, that would be good. I don't. I'm only been Disneyland no, since I was ten. Only if we had a Johnny Depp robot. <laughs> Auto no, animatronic. No, there's there's too many Johnny Depp robots at Disneyland they, they already. Need more, <laughs> more right. Johnny Depp. <laughs> oh man, no. Oh, okay. What the, well, I got to ask about the ending, though. Okay. Do you think it it did set up for a second one? I didn't think it was very convincing for a second one, honestly. So, why put Johnny Depp in another Disney franchise unless you want a sequel? I think they wanted one, and then they, and, and at the end, they knew what they had. And they're like, we can't do a sequel. Yeah. It was. It was set up for. It was set up. It was. I didn't think it was set up for a sequel. Yeah, but but with the Lone Ranger, you can go on for eight movies. Well, yeah. Tell me. In 2003, when you saw Pirates of the Caribbean: Curse of the Black Pearl, did you need another pirates movie? Um, That was a closed story. Yeah. It was. Will and. Kira Knightley's character, I can't remember. Honestly, her. that we're going to get married, and Jack was going to go be a pirate somewhere. That's all that needed to happen. Well, it was basically a expensive promotion for their ride Just to get people into their park. Yeah, that first one was like they did. Yeah, okay, I get that, but I'm like, I just don't uh, think it was open enough. I'll tell you because it. when when that movie when those movies. Oh, when the first one came out, Black Pirates. Pearl, yeah, the park attendance was way low. Uh-huh. Yeah, way low. I mean, we were going, we were buying season season passes. Yeah. We were going all the time. There was hardly anybody there. We would go to Disney World, and there was hardly anybody there. Yeah, I mean, their most popular rides were mm-hmm. five minutes long. Oh wow! We went on Space Mountain, and this is back in like two thousand four, two thousand five. Okay, we went on Space Mountain. Like mm-hmm. I went on it ten times in a row. Oh wow! And and that that's me getting off the ride, going back in the queue, Doing and then getting the on the ride again, and not even 
it said five minutes. It wasn't. It was just a walk up, basically, yeah. and that was every single ride except for Peter Pan. That was fifteen minutes. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> yeah, the Peter Pan. Yeah, one. Peter Pan. Always the longest ride. But they, they were struggling to get park attendance back then, and that's also kind of when uh, the recession happened. Okay. Yeah. And that people were losing houses and or real estate agents. 08, right? it, it was the beginning. The beginning. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Okay, the beginning. And so okay. and so park attendance was you know, people didn't have money to spend on yeah. going to the park. Disposable income. Didn't right. Didn't. Right. It's yeah. Just, yeah. And so I mean, Disney needed to do something to promote their parks and so they came up with Pirates, Pirates of the Caribbean, which they and did the a good job. That first oh yeah, one. no, it's a great Haunted movie. Mansion. And it turned Haunted out Mansion. Oh. Yeah, with Eddie Murphy, which didn't do <laughs> very well. Yeah, that was a pretty rough, rough movie. But I uh, never watched that so, one. But yeah, would I like to see a Lone Ranger ride in Frontierland? Yes, yes, I would. I wonder what that'd be like. It would make sense to put it there if they ever did it. But was Disney park the attendance original? isn't down now, right? No, it's way up, and they, it's uh, so expensive. Retool to go there now. Big Thunder Mountain. As a yeah. Lone Ranger, you could. I wouldn't. I, <laughs> I, I personally wouldn't do that to Big Thunder. <laughs> yeah, Big Thunder's great. But yeah. another ride in Frontierland, yeah, definitely. I yeah. could see them doing that. See, that's cool. Well, so you know, just you know, when Pirates got so big, riding, yeah. riding on the coattails of that, you know, same yeah. company, same actors ish, yeah. ish, and same music, all the all the above. Um, Similar. Why not try and? Do it again. Get something going off of that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I just want to, yeah. just talking about it, just because I think there's more of why things fail than just cut and dry, this is why it failed. Yeah. yeah. There's just more to it than just one one or two things. I want to say it was bad word of mouth. The critics didn't really, uh, let me look. I don't, I don't think the critics really gave it too big of a... 31% on Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah. Uh, is that has that been our lowest one? Because the last one was like thirty six. Yeah, that's been it, the lowest it, one. It, so it might have been the lowest one, but okay. it's an enjoyable movie. Yes, I wanted to like it. I did. Yeah, give it a chance. I, th- I can understand I, that completely. I could maybe in ten more years, dude. Put it maybe. six feet under. <laughs> no, no, was like the Nightmare Before Christmas. It's yeah. a movie like I feel like I should watch, uh, like. Yeah. I don't. L- oh, like Lone Ranger. You, you, yeah. Like you should feel like you yeah, like that's it. That's probably but how I feel. You yeah. don't. Yeah. It's a movie that I feel like I should like. I mean, it's stuff I like. Yeah. I just don't like it. See, to me, <laughs> that's, oh, yeah, I like, that's good dinosaur. I like cowboys me. and Indians and yeah. and trains and all that kind of stuff. Action. But mm-hmm. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Okay. Kind well, of all right. <laughs> so, Thank you for joining. Uh, please. Rate, subscribe, tell us what you think of uh, Lone Ranger. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you have a hard no, a hard yes, and I'm in between. So um, thank you. Remember, please help build, don't destroy, and have a good day. All right, bye.